We have already seen how to import CSS files in JavaScript modules, and also in the previous lesson we have taken a look how Vite works with CSS module specification, and in this lesson we're going to see how Vite allows us to apply post-CSS transformations to CSS imports. And just to demonstrate how to work with post-CSS plugins in Vite projects, we're going to install very popular post-CSS plugin, which is Tailwind CSS framework. So in Docs, let's open up installation instructions. In this case, we're installing Tailwind CSS in the Vite project. So let's use page how to install Tailwind CSS within Vite project. And here we can skip the first step, because first step initializes default Vite project. But we already have a project, so let's go directly to step number two and install all necessary packages to provide support for Tailwind CSS. The first command is going to install the following packages Tailwind CSS, PostCSS, and AutoPrefixer. And the second command is going to generate two configuration files, one for Tailwind CSS, called tailwind.config.js, and another file is PostCSS configuration. And by the way, generated PostCSS configuration file already contains necessary plugins, which provide support for Tailwind CSS. That is Tailwind CSS plugin itself and AutoPrefixer to provide support for modern CSS rules in most browsers. And now we need to tell Tailwind CSS utility which files will include Tailwind CSS classes, and we can do it by specifying value for content property. Here we just list paths to all the files with Tailwind CSS classes, and since in our case we're only going to use Tailwind classes within index.html, Let's just mention paths to this file. And on the next step, we're gonna have to add the following Tailwind CSS directive to our main CSS file. So let's copy over these three directives. So inside of our project, let's create new CSS file, 5.css, inside of assets folder, and place those three directives in here. And finally, after we restart server by running npm run dev, we can start using all available Tailwind CSS classes in our source files, like this. So first of all, let's restart our server by pressing Ctrl-C in here to stop the server, and run it again by running npm run dev. Let's clear out everything within main.js file, and leave only import, which includes Tailwind CSS. So we only import 5.css file, because this is the file where we previously included Tailwind CSS directives. And now when browser encounters this CSS import, it is going to make request to our Vite server, and Vite server is going to respond with valid ECMAScript module, which means it has converted our CSS file with included Tailwind CSS on the fly. And whole Tailwind CSS stylesheet has been assigned to Vite CSS constant. And then this constant has been used to inject these styles onto our page. As we can see, this style includes generated Tailwind CSS stylesheet. So let's go ahead and try to apply a couple of Tailwind CSS classes to our heading. Let's copy over code of this background color from this file and style our h1 heading. And in Tailwind CSS, the class which corresponds to background color starts with bg. And then here in square brackets, we can specify a dynamic value of the color. So let's paste that hexadecimal code and let's also make text color white. And let's better apply those classes to the body element. And here we go. In DevTools we can see that the appropriate Tailwind CSS classes have been generated, and sure enough, proper styles have been applied. And in terms of transformations, let's see what transformations have been applied to our initial CSS file. As we know, our initial stylesheet contains only Tailwind CSS directives. So a Tailwind CSS plugin that we have included in PostCSS configuration has turned this three directive into full Tailwind CSS stylesheet. And then Vid has taken this generated stylesheet and applied another transformation, which eventually turned this stylesheet into a valid ECMAScript module. So at the end, this code was run in the browser, and Tailwind CSS styles have been included on the page. Let's just try to use another Tailwind CSS class to make font size 30 pixels. And in the browser, in order to see newly generated class, we don't even need to refresh the page. 
all modifications are reflected on the page instantly, thanks to Vit Hot Module Replacement feature. And this is how we can work with PostCSS transformations in Vit projects. We just need to create PostCSS file in our project, install all necessary PostCSS plugins, then include those plugins in PostCSS configuration file. And Vit is going to automatically apply all necessary PostCSS transformations to all imported CSS files.